Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from WellU. This is their OxySmart fingertip Bluetooth enabled oximeter that you can check out on Amazon at the time of this review for $23.99. Of course, I'll have that link in the description below so that you guys can check that out. And I will be going over this in depth, including the app that will go with this. They have an app for iOS and for Android. I will be testing the Android side of things in this review. So let's dig into this real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so here's a quick look at everything that comes in the box with this. Uh, you have a carrying case or a little pouch here for storing this away when you're not using it or if you're going to travel with it, you can put it in there. They do give you, of course, a user a manual for the OxySmart. It is all written in English. I have the PC-60F. W, that one includes Bluetooth. Uh, the 60F does not include Bluetooth, so just be aware of that. You can check out WellU at getwellu.com. I'll have their link in the description below as well so that you can check it out. Now we're going to be using the vHealth app, and it is on the App Store for iOS and for Android. I'm going to be testing out the Android side. It does take two AAA batteries. They do include those. It doesn't come with a lanyard as well. So if you want to maybe put this around your wrist or if you need to, if you're traveling or something like that, and you want to kind of attach it to a book bag, you can do that as well. So let's take a look at the main unit. We'll get this out of its shrink wrap here and you'll be able to see what the main unit looks like. And it's going to look pretty much like any other uh, pulse oximeter that I've really tested out. It's got a menu button here on the front uh, and your finger will slide in spring loaded uh, and it'll just slide right in there and it will begin to uh, check out your information. Now this actually does a few different things that I didn't notice in a lot of other pulse oximeters. This does a perfusion index, uh, which is an interesting metric to have. Uh, so if you're interested in tracking that, it is there. And then you have, a, of course, your uh, plethysmograph and your pulse bar graph as well, which is on most of these. Uh, but again, this one, is Bluetooth enabled and I'll show you that real quickly once we get my finger in here you'll see that it will fire up and you'll see that you get your SPO2 and then you'll have your uh, battery level and that battery level switches back and forth from a battery level to kind of a wireless sign on there and then you have your pulse rate and then your perfusion index now I have another brand here I'm not going to name any names uh, but I wanted to test it next to another brand to see how close we are in uh, accuracy. And they're all pretty close, uh, within one point on either the SpO2 or the actual uh, pulse rate. So it, it holds up pretty well against other competitors. Uh, I don't have any problems with that. Now you do have a menu button here as well. Uh, so I'll show you real quickly the things that you can see in the menu by pressing the menu button. Okay, so on the first page of the menu, we have SPO2 alarm, and it is a low alarm, obviously. Uh, you can only go up to 99%, so they have a default of 90% uh, SPO2, or your oxygen saturation, and you can change that default if you want it to be higher or lower. So if it goes under 90, you will get a beep and vibration to allow you to know that you are under 90% oxygen saturation. Now they also have your pulse rate alarm for high is the default is 120. So if it goes over 120, your pulse rate, then you'll get that beep and alarm low is 50 and you can change those values as well. So you've got a little bit of wiggle room to change these values if you want to. Now on the second page, uh, you can turn the beep on or off if you do not want it on. And of course you can exit out of the system as well. So you've got a few different options here in the setting menu. Okay, so you've got a few different extra things that I don't usually see on your basic pulse oximeters. Uh, you do have that wireless Bluetooth connection, which I'm going to show you here in just a second. And of course, that perfusion index so that you can track that as well as the normal things that I usually have seen on these fingertip 
oximeters. So when you do take your finger out and you kind of have to wait until your finger's out and it powers off, uh, you can press this button to get into the last 12 uh, memory settings of your SpO2 and for your pulse rate. So you've got 12 spots. It'll track up to 12 of the last readings that you took without even using an app. So you don't have to feel like you have to use an app, but it is available and we're going to get into it right now. Okay, so speaking of the app, it is called V Health or VI Health uh, by WellU. And we are going to uh, click on that. You can get this for iOS as well as Android. We're doing the Android side of things right now. Uh, and it will come up where it is searching for a device. So, of course, you have to uh, turn the device on by just putting a finger in the end here. And it'll come up in your list of devices, and you'll just click on that. Uh, so we will click on the OxySmart and it will have a number after it. This is going to be different for each unit and we will click on that and it will connect. And now I have real time data on my device so I don't even have to look at this. Say you have a loved one that you want to actually monitor uh, what's going on with them while they're sleeping or resting. You can actually monitor that through this. Now you've got your SpO2 at the top, you've got your pulse rate at the bottom, uh, you've got your perfusion index in the middle, and of course you've got your uh, plethysmograph at the bottom as well as your uh, bar, your pulse bar graph as well. And you can, uh, you know, of course look at your history here, you can uh, record all of this to the phone, so you have that as a playback. So again, if you're trying to monitor, say, maybe a sick child or uh, a loved one or something like that, you've got uh, this option to be able to do that. You also have add others remote view on here as, weather, as well. So with a V Health account, you can add other people. So say you don't live in the same house. You can even set it up so that when they're wearing this, you can, uh, you know, remotely view their data uh, from afar if you, you know, have to uh, keep monitoring someone like that. So again, in history, after you're done and you exit out of the app, it'll save all this to history. Uh, and then you can go back in and you can check it out. So well-rounded app as well, super useful, especially if you're going to monitor, again, say like a, a child or a, an older adult or somebody that has COPD or, I mean, there are countless reasons why you would want to do this, but having the Bluetooth enabled device and the app where you can remotely check on someone is a really, really cool feature that you don't see on most basic pulse oximeters. So there you go. That's my review of the WellU OxySmart Bluetooth enabled pulse oximeter. You can check it out on Amazon for a really good price of $23.99. It's very competitive to all the other ones that are out there and it actually has Bluetooth functionality, which I really think sets this one above your basic Bluetooth oximeter because you can check on a loved one or you can use the app for yourself and have that information that you can show your doctor. Uh, or, or there's just so many reasons why you would want to do that. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. I'm definitely giving this product a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments about it, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Remember to like, and if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do so because that always helps me out. And I'll check you guys out on the next video.